Well, on now to our big focus this evening. The government hospital at Kurnool in Andhra Pradesh, where 10 babies died in 48 hours, gets a clean sheet from a government panel. But today, after intense media focus, some new equipment and supplies have been rushed into the hospital. Hemlata lost her first-born baby girl hardly a few hours after her birth on Thursday. The family says they were given an air pump to help the baby breathe because ventilators were reportedly unavailable. Two of the four ventilators in the hospital were under repair. The baby was among the ten who died between Wednesday and Thursday at Kurnool's district hospital. The family had brought Hemlata from their home some 40 kilometers away because she had high blood pressure and they were told it could be risky. The hospital caters to people from at least five surrounding districts and the rush is such that infrastructure, both equipment and train manpower is perennially in short supply. We have become alerted and although uh, these things are common, we have taken more pains to see that uh, even more care is uh, given to these patients. These are all natural deaths. We should reduce the infant, infant mortality and the maternal mortality. Comparatively, national, to, if you compare to the national average, we are well within our limits. A probe report by a government panel has absolved the hospital of all blame. The silver lining is that some new equipment and supplies have found their way into the hospital after the focus on the hospital after the baby deaths. With Uma Sudhir and Nagaraju in Karnul, Supreeta Das, NDTV. So 10 babies dead in two days in a government hospital in Kurnool in Andhra Pradesh. Now, how many more times do we have to report these tragedies? Will the awful state of public health care in India ever change? In this particular case, it's just infants, newborns. And this terrible, terrible story keeps getting repeated. We had a similar situation in Kolkata some time back. Nothing seems to have changed. Well, on the show, Ravinder Reddy, the Andhra Health Minister, also joining us, Jay Prakash Narayan, the National Coordinator for the Lok Sapta Movement. And joining me in the studio, Dr. Rajiv Tandon, Senior Advisor, Health and Nutrition with Save the Children. Thank you all very much for joining us. Let me come to you, uh, Mr. Reddy, first. Now, yesterday you had said that this was an act of God, and a lot of people said, this was an act of God, could you just say that? Now you're saying other factors could be involved. So, yesterday it was an act of God, today it's not. Why this change in stand? No, no, Mr. Vishnu, this is like this. See, without God, uh, we cannot, the doctor cannot function. God should be there, but doctor should function to the satisfaction of his profession. So, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, Yesterday, the, the, the sanctioned strength for that uh, hospital is 20 neonatal, uh, neonatal 20, but at that point of time, there were 43, 43 people. Uh, it, it, at the most, it can cater to the needs of 25 newborns. Because 31st and 1st happens to be two holiday, holidays, and many of the private practitioners, they have thrown their uh, volume of work on the general hospital. Right. And which resulting resulting in lesser human resources to tackle these cases. Mr. Jayaprakash Narayan, are you okay with that? Are we reading too much into that God co comment of his? And yesterday it was reported, he said, and today you just heard him say over there that, look, God has to exist, but doctors need to do their own job. That ultimately, this is not a story uh, about, you know, necessarily one single fault. It's just that we have an overworked system. No, Dr. Ranjana Reddy is a well-meaning man, he's a medical doctor himself. But as you said, we must focus more on the system. Yes. Look at the larger picture. Among the large economies, India has the worst public health care system in the world. Our public expenditure on health care is less than 1% of the GDP or just about 1% of the GDP. And if you take the total health expenditure, the public expenditure is only 26%. That's the lowest in the world, comparable to only three terrible countries, Afghanistan, Burma and Cambodia, not even Sub-Saharan Africa, yes. not even other South Asian countries, not even the poorest countries in the world are comparable to India in this respect. We have a disgraceful health care system. The results are out there to see. But For let me ask, let me, ask of uh, let me just ask Mr. Reddy a question. Mr. Reddy, would you, I mean, while you might be helpless, and, and that, that really is a tragedy, isn't it, that 
everybody seems to be helpless in this country when it comes to health care. But while you may be helpless, would you at least admit, sir, that the situation in that one hospital in Karnool is alarming? Uh, definitely, definitely, I can uh, construe that it's an alarming situation. Uh, uh, see, in India, the IMR is, when compared to the Western countries, in, in, uh, infant mortality rate is much more. And the infant mortality, maternal infant mortality, and maternal mortality both are on high side in India. But with the considerable uh, uh, concentration by government of India under, under NRHM, we could reduce. But still, what I feel, uh, there is there is some sort something to be done to reduce the infant mortality rate. Yes. In that direction, government of Andhra Pradesh is working very sincerely. But, uh, Dr. Tandon, the government of Andhra Pradesh is working seriously. I'm sure the Bengal government is working seriously. We had another worse situation in a, in a hospital in Kolkata. Now we've got 10 infants dead in 48 hours. Uh, and, and there don't seem to be any answers. And, and the, the, the funny thing here, and the, the tragic thing here, is that you can't blame anyone, can you? You can't blame the minister, because that wouldn't be fair. He's inherited a system. You can't blame the doctors, because they've also inherited a system which is short on resources. So where is this all going in terms of something as basic as this? Uh, Vishnu, I'd, I'd like to st step back. And at the outset, I think, thank media for having raised this issue of newborns. For one, what's happened in Kurnool needs to be looked at in a perspective of knowing that 10 newborns died, but we also need to know out of how many. And, and the minister seems to be uh, informed yes. about some overload of that particular hospital. That's true for... With regard to maternal care and newborn health, uh, because of special government incentives which are being given, mothers are being actually requested and taken to facilities where they're delivering. And the facilities do not have adequate equipment. They don't have adequate human resources. The human resources that are there are not well trained and they don't have enough incentives and motivation to be able to take care of all these additional newborns and mothers. So definitely the system needs a lot more help. Uh, Government of India at this point of time is looking at newborn health in a priority method. Uh, they have agreed that in the 12th five-year plan, they are recommending uh, a very special focus for newborn health. What we need is, we've heard the Prime Minister talk of enhancing uh, the budgetary allocations for health right. from 1% to 2.5%. But we also know that there would be a lot of other areas that would demand more resources. More okay, I just want to come uh, to, to Dr. Reddy. Sir, obviously this is a larger issue over here. But there are lots of parents over there uh, who've lost their infants who are asking th that one important question, accountability. Who's accountable for this? Where does the buck stop? Does it stop with you? The government is definitely accountable, Mr. Vishnu. But what I'm trying to, trying to say is, the here we should see in the real perspective way. See, when the, when the infant, see, for 1,000 live births, for 20 years back, the infant mortality rate was around 354. Imagine, from 354, we brought down to 46 in Andhra Pradesh over a period of time. So what I am trying to say is, we are, we are trying to uh, contain the infant mortality at any cost. So the national average is 64, something like that. Yeah. When compared to the national average, Andhra Pradesh is better placed. But when compared to southern Indian states of three states, we are lagging behind. So we would like to, we would like to, we would like to uh, do it in a sincere sure. way with all the facilities to all the government hospitals. That's that's my. Uh, okay, uh, Jay Prakash Narayan, let me just come to you for a, a final word over here. Those statistics you heard the minister speak uh, or mention over there, we are really clutching at virtually nothing. These statistics are awful statistics by by any token. Uh, could you tell us, I mean, where is where are we going with all of this? Let's focusing primarily on Andhra Pradesh. Vishnu, three decades ago, three and a half decades ago, when I was at a medical, medical school in the state, 
the medical school infrastructure was the best in the country and in the state. Anybody who had any problem went to the public hospital, teaching hospital. Today, the private sector has gained enormously, but the public sector has declined enormously. Uh, Dr. Tannen talked about the Prime Minister um, talking about enhancing the health care budgets. Yes. You know, the reality is in 2004, the UPA government promised enhancement of health care budget from 1% of the GDP to 3%. Where in 2011, it's a grand 1% today after seven years. Yep. At a time when there's a rapid expansion of the public expenditure in social sector allegedly. So there simply is no commitment to health care in this country. Right. The second is even when the money is spent in a state like Andhra Pradesh, though it's only 1%, even when that money is spent very badly, a lot of money is going for private sector corporate care in the name of Arugya Shri, right. ignoring the primary health care and public health infrastructure. Right. And, and I think is, that really, is, that really is the biggest tragedy that there is, even when there are funds available, it's not necessarily going to the right place. I'm sorry, gentlemen, we're completely out of time. Uh, Jay Prakash Narayan, uh, Mr. Ravinder Reddy and Dr. Tandon, thank you so much for joining us this evening. We could never...